Yeah. Were you guys on a rotation schedule, you and Tobin, or was it just kind of because you guys kept going back and forth? Yeah, we went uh, every every uh, two two sets. Okay. So I mean, we went, yeah, we went back and forth, and then the fourth quarter, Coach Morgan just put him in. And, Good decision by him. I mean, Toe's been there, so he, he knew how to handle it. Brandon, uh, just in general, what changed offensively from those first three quarters to, to the fourth quarter? Everybody just got in the rhythm, really. Yeah, we finished We uh, finished and worked out for us. What about what James did? He finished the game completing 17 of his last 20 passes or four touchdowns, or three touchdowns, sorry, and you guys scored 28 unanswered points. How, how composed was he and what was it like with him in the huddle and then just, you know, what kind of confidence did you have that he was going to lead you down the field? Uh, he's he's a great leader. I mean, uh, I talk to him every day, I mean, and then in practice he puts me where, where he wants you to go, really, and also James Ferris helps out a lot, too, so I mean, going with an offensive line that has all the veterans on it, I mean, it's Great. At some point when you get momentum like that, does it start to roll downhill where just things become easier and, and you guys start to pick up steam and you're getting towards those last few drives and it just seems like you know you're going to do what you need to do and score? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, playing, it's a lot different than playing in front of 3,000 people, I'll tell you that, but I mean, for the first time it was a, it was a great experience and I mean, I'm glad I got the reps I did, but I mean, we pulled it out as a team, so mm -hmm. it was great. You're probably going to remember this day no matter what. Well, absolutely, yeah. Finishing the game, obviously, make it a little oh, better for Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah.